It's the weekend here at Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, November 24th, 2017. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Back in the day, they used to have a saying that went something to the effect of, it's the quiet ones that you have to watch out for. And I'm not sure if there's an athlete in the sport who fits that description better than an emerging second year superstar, Gerald Williams. Despite the fact that he came into every show this season with essentially zero hype, all the former North American champ did was manage to win the Cal Pro, run off three straight top 10 finishes, and hold his own on the Olympia stage against a group of future Hall of Famers. But now that the word is officially out, and Williams will be heading into the next season with a target on his back for the first time, it'll be interesting to see how he responds to the pressure once his 2018 campaign starts to get rolling. If you want to have success and longevity at anything you do in life, you're going to have to learn to think outside the box a little. Or you could just sit back and follow everything that figure stand out and Cyber Body Shop CEO Wendy Fortino does. Earlier in the week, the Fortino camp released a video from one of their most recent back efforts showing off the sort of flawless conditioning and 3D muscle that we've come to expect from her over the years. This season it felt like we finally got to see Fortino get back to being that destroyer of worlds we all thought she was going to be a few years ago. Especially when you look back at the run she had in March and April when she brought home a win at the St. Louis Pro in the midst of three straight top three finishes. Fortino's at her best when she comes in shredded and ready for action. So if she can stick to the plan and avoid coming in too full-blown, I can absolutely see her putting together another strong run at some point next season. The Classic Physique division is so good right now that you've got a group of six or seven guys who could probably win just about any show on any given day. Especially when you're a guy with the talent of two-time top five Olympia finisher, Arash Rabar. Despite wrapping up his 2017 campaign more than eight weeks ago, the latest updates coming out of the Rabar camp show the former New York Pro winner looking like he could be ready to step on stage and do battle at a moment's notice. Even though it may not have reflected it in the placings, the Arash Rabar we saw take the Olympia stage this year was bigger, more conditioned, and more complete than anything he's brought to the table in years past. So as long as he can stay true to form and keep finding new ways to sharpen the blade, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be right there in the mix of things when it all goes down again next season. Since we're already talking about classic physique all-stars, has anyone out there been paying attention to what rookie knockout artist George Peterson has been up to lately? While most of the world was out there preparing to dive headfirst into a turkey and sugar-induced coma yesterday, Peterson was busy continuing his own personal assault on the offseason with a little bit of old school triceps action. When you sit back and look at what Peterson's been able to accomplish over the last 18 months as he's gone from an unknown commodity to being looked at as one of the most elite talents in the sport, all you can do as a fan is sit back and shake your head in amazement. And if he's managed to ring up this laundry list of accolades as a true freshman, just imagine how dangerous he could end up being once he really starts to figure things out. The great ones have a way of making it all look effortless. But I swear, in all my years in the industry, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone make it quite look this easy as reigning four-time Women's Physique Olympia champ Juliana Malacarney. Recently, the Queen of Physique made the long trek out to the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado, where she popped in for a quick shoulder session at Dylan Armbrust's Pro Gym. In true Juliana Malacarney fashion, she's still looking as flawless as ever, and seems like she's already fallen right back into that championship groove that's earned her a place on the Mount Rushmore of female athletes in the sport. At this point in her career, it really is all about legacy, because she's won everything there is to win. But with the potential of bringing home an unprecedented fifth straight title on the line next season, I'm of the opinion that the best of Juliana Malacarney is still yet to come. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. 
I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Enjoy the weekend.